Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can create your own glass holograms in a series called Project Smart Glass. So in this series, we're not only going to be creating these really cool holograms, but we're also going to try and fuse artificial intelligence and computer vision into the mix to create some really cool applications. So Ritz, why are you doing this? Can't you just do your normal Vuforia tutorials, hmm? Well, how about no? So I want to try something a bit different, something that has not been done quite that often. I want to test what would happen if we lived in a world where transparent displays were a reality. What would we do with these glass displays and how would they be different from the devices we already own today? What type of experiences would transparent displays allow as we approach the future? So these are the types of questions that I intend to answer in this tutorial series. So subscribe and click that bell icon if you haven't already to learn more. So currently, transparent screens do exist in the form of transparent OLED TVs from LG, but those are way too expensive for us to experiment with. They are currently transparent LCDs, but their reflectance values are way too high that you end up with a very dark view. So after doing a lot of web prowling, I've concluded that the best and cheapest way to enable this experience is by means of a projector and a transparent projector film. So how it works is that when light shines from a projector onto a glass, the light shines right through the medium. And this is because the optical transmittance of the glass is very high. Now to maintain the transparency of the glass while still being able to view the image, we place a projector film on the glass which reduces the transmittance. So the image is displayed on the glass rather than passing right through it. So the projector film that I've bought of Amazon has a visible light transmission or VLT of 89%, meaning that 89% of the light from the projector is passed right through the film and the 11% is captured by the film for display. The lower the VLT, the better the image will appear on the film, but the darker the tint will appear, meaning that you'll have less transparency. So from my test, a VLT of 89% works really well for the effect that we're going to create. So if you'd like to learn how to build your own glass hologram, then let's get right into the tutorial. Before we get started, please don't forget to watch till the end to find out how you can win one of 20 free enrollments to the course of your choice, including this one. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions on future videos. Subscribe so you get notified when the next AI AR tutorial is out. And feel free to share this video with any of your friends if you think it will be helpful to them. So let's get right into it and roll intro. So the full series of Project Smart Class will be available as a standalone course and also on Ultimate AI CV Pro. So the three most advanced phases of this project will not be available on YouTube but will be exclusive to the course on Augmented Startups. The links are all down below. If you are interested in artificial intelligence in computer vision, we have a course that teaches you AI object detection, object segmentation, pose estimation, Android AI app development, along with the complete Project Edith and Project Smart Glass tutorial series. Okay, so let's get started with Project Smart Glass. Okay, so for you to get started, you'll need a couple of items for the project. Over here is the bowl of materials spreadsheet that I've created on my GitHub repo called Project Smart Glass Phase 1. Links will be in the description. Bowl of materials. So a couple of things that you'll need are the glass, which can also be acrylic, the projector, I'm using the LG PH150B. You can use any projector that you want, but I went with a projector that had a high contrast ratio. And this is to ensure that the black or dark pixels are not projected onto the film. Also, the higher the lux or lumens, the better. Next, we need the projection film. The one I got is from Hoho Films. And now I must warn you, this film is not great quality, and I only bought it because at the time I could not find any other projection film on Amazon. I recommend finding other tinted films because this one came creased and the film had bubbles which may hinder your experience. I recommend also trying out a matte screen protector. For the size that you're looking for, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch matte screen protector might work, but I have not tested it on my side as yet. Next, we'll need the stands to hold the projector and the glass. For this, a pair of tripods with a swivel head will do the trick. And lastly, an HDMI cable that is long enough to connect to your PC putting it all together. So setting up is quite easy. We just need to attach the tripod to the projector 
connect up your HDMI cable from the PC to the projector. On the second tripod, place the foam on the acrylic or glass and try your best to minimize the bubbles and creases. I clearly feel that this. <laughs> Attach the metal plate to the bottom of the glass and mount it on the magnetic tripod mount. Now all you have to do now is to align your projector beam with the screen. Now to get the best image, it's best to shine the projector down and aim it towards your eyes with direct line of sight. I found this to work best to produce the brightest image. You can experiment with different angles to see what works best for you. Visuals. Now for this phase, we're not going to do any AI or coding. We'll continue with that in the next phase. For now, we're just going to display a demo video from YouTube. And this is where you'll find a wide variety of these hologram videos. To show it on our screen, the projected glass display is shown as a second screen that we can set in Windows to either extend or duplicate. If you play the video in full screen, focus the video and voila, we're able to view a sort of a holographic effect on a glass display. Phase 1. Now this effect is pretty much static and you can't do much with it except for admire the various demo videos. So in phase 2, we're going to be using AI face detection in Unity to control a 3D model to create a parallax hologram, which is essentially a holographic illusion created by perspective shifting. Phase 3. We'll be using the leap motion for hand detection. We'll see how we can harmonize the transparent display with natural interaction. Phase 4 will be on object detection. Phase 5 will enhance on object detection but by using mass RCNN. Phase 6 will be on pose estimation. And Phase 7 and 8 will be bonus projects of Project Smart Class which will be revealed closer to the later phases of this project. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions on future videos. Subscribe so you get notified when the next AI AR tutorial is out. And feel free to share this video with any of your friends if you think it will be helpful to them. Okay, so earlier I mentioned that if you're interested in winning one of 20 free enrollments to any of the Augmented Startups courses, then all you have to do is like and comment on this video and sign up to the webinar at the link down below. Winners are announced every 3 months. You can comment about anything or just provide suggestions for upcoming videos and ideas as I've mentioned earlier. Alright, that is it from me. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.